Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate cyclist in After Effects. So first, let's check out how the layers are separated in Illustrator to animate in After Effects. Okay, so right now, we are in Adobe Illustrator. So here are the separated layers. I have separated the cycle handle in a separate layer, then the hand is in a separate layer. Then the limbs are in a separate layer. One thing you can notice is that the whole hand, arm and forearm is in a single layer. I haven't separated the overlap because we are going to recreate this using the rubber hose. We are going to create a hose for the legs and for arms. So we are using the rubber hose to plug in for this particular animation. Also, we are going to use the Dwick plugin as well for the bone tool. Other than that, we have separated the foot, tire and the parts of the cycle that we need to animate individually. So this is how the layers are separated in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. Now let's jump into After Effects and get started with the rigging process. So here first we are going to create a hose for arms with the help of the rubber hose to plug in. So by default, you are going to get somewhat like this, but we are going to change the style of the hose for this one. So select the hose and we are going to select this tapered hose. And it is going to give somewhat like this. So we're going to now change the position of the start and end. And we're going to reposition all of this hose and properly match with the position of the illustration. Okay, so now we are going to simply pick the color of the skin for this hose. Now we can simply delete this illustration layer. We don't need it anymore. Okay, so we're going to do the same for the legs as well. So we're going to create another hose. And again, we're going to change the style of this one as well and change it to tapered hose. So now we are going to select the color for this hose. Okay, now we are going to add few pins for the body layer. After that, we are going to convert these pins into bone layers so that we can get individual layers for each of those pins. Now let's rename these layers. So now let's parent neck with the chest, chest with the spine, spine with hip and then again this bone tool layer with this hip layer and then again with the head with the neck and the neck layer with this neck bone layer. Also let's change the anchor point position of this neck. Alright, after that we're going to add few pins on this paddle. Let's solo the layer. Okay, let's change the background. Now we're going to convert these pins into bone again with the help of the twig bezel. And after that, we're going to parent two with one. So when we rotate one, it is going to rotate. Like this, we're going to animate the paddle. Again, we are going to parent this paddle illustration with this one layer. So again, if we rotate, it is going to rotate. We can even parent it with two as well. Okay, so now we are going to select the hose of the leg and we are going to parent 
the foot layer with this layer and we are going to parent this layer with the paddle and once we rotate this one the foot is also going to rotate and don't worry about this extra rotation that is happening on the foot we can fix it later on with some extra rotation keyframes so let's only focus on the paddle for now so then we are going to parent this start this hose start layer with the hip layer of the bone layer so when we move it everything is going to move together like a rig after that we are going to select this arm and the start controller we are going to parent it with this chest so again when we move it everything moves together all right so now this whole character is fully rigged to animate so let's start with this paddle animation let's jump on to next 30 frames and get started with the animation so we're going to put a rotation keyframe over here then again we're going to jump on to next 25 frames and give a full rotation let's check out if the direction is correct yeah it's correct so after that when it reaches somewhat over here at the top we're going to put another keyframe so we're going to select the keyframes and select easy is f9 after that we're going to jump onto the motion graph editor and at this edges we're going to make the graph a bit stiff and here we are going to first convert it into auto bezier that means both the handles are attached together and give a very little is not complete flat but almost flat so what it means is when the graph is stiff that means it's speeding up and here again it is speeding up and at this point it is slowing down but i haven't made it completely flat that means it actually stopped over here i have just made it slightly is over here so it actually slowed down but haven't stopped at this particular point let's check out the animation all right so this is what we wanted after that if we check out the paddle we can fix the paddle over here itself so we have to add some rotation at this point we are going to rotate in this direction so minus 180 and here we are going to give minus 360 then we are going to copy the motion graph from this keyframe and paste it in this three set of keyframes for that i'm using a plugin called is copy it's very useful when you are going when you want a same type of motion graph for the other set of keyframes rather than fixing it manually you can simply copy the graph and then click on is and the is has been pasted over here you can see all right now let's check out the animation and here you can see that foot rotation extra rotation was also fixed with this set of keyframes okay so we need to put these limbs above the body layer so let's change now we are going to duplicate this hose so select these hoses for the leg and we are going to manage in rubber hose and click on this duplicate and the hoses are duplicated so we are going to pull it down and put it below all the layers below the cycle layers as well after that we are going to duplicate the foot layer as well and put it above this one and this time we are going to parent the foot with this end controller now we are going to even duplicate the paddle layers as well but when you duplicate the bone layers it is not going to work so what you have to do is simply select this layers and duplicate it and then again add the bones for these layers as well 
So select the puppet and then again create bones. And we're going to rename the layers. So let's parent paddle to with this two. And after that, we're going to copy this rotation, paste it over here and copy this keyframes and paste it over here. And after that, let's add loop expression. After that, we are going to offset it and put it over here in the middle. Okay, one more thing. We have to parent this one with this paddle too. So right now, both the legs are moving. So now we are going to offset this keyframes and put it somewhere in mid middle. So this is how you already got a basic cycling animation. After this, we can add a little rotation on the hips as well on hips and the body a bit. So open the keyframes, open the layers and we're going to add rotation. So in this one paddle, there would be one up and one down motion for the body. So that was that actually what happens in actual cycling. So we're going to do that. So about one degree and then again, minus one degree, not minus. Let's keep it zero only. So now we are going to add loop expression on all of these properties. So now let's offset the keyframes to add some follow through. After this, we can even add a little motion on this layer as well. So we are going to add some up and down movement in the position. Now let's check out. So that is it for this lesson. If you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.